Hi, it's Rupert Hein here from Action Coach Nick Kinross, and I'm joined today by Natasha and Jamila from The Good Store in Edinburgh. Welcome, folks. Hello, Rupert. I'm Natasha here from The Good Store. My name is Jamila. So, hi, Jamila. So tell us, what's The Good Store all about? The Good Store mm -hmm. is a organic food store. So we came together about four years ago now, over four years ago, and discussed how it was really difficult in the city centre to be able to get some quality organic food, um, especially plastic free um, food at supermarkets. So we decided to open up our own shop. Yeah. And now we have an organic, plastic free, package free store with a lot of health products mm -hmm. and it's kind of just growing um, into a really good store. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. So, so just tell us a little bit about the process of deciding to start your own business. What took you to the point, you, you, you've seen a niche, you've seen a need for this, but what, what, what thought did you go through in terms of actually running it yourselves? I think we were both um, looking for something more mm -hmm. um, in the the jobs that we were in previous to this, um, and we're always looking for you know development in ourselves and like creating something, creating a space. I mm -hmm. think mm -hmm. so. When we both kind of got into the world of um, plastic free shopping, just in general, and there wasn't really that at, um, in Edinburgh at the time, we were like maybe we could be the people who bring that to you know the, the community so and then we just got really excited and thought can we actually do this and just started we just yeah it was a step-by-step -step process yeah though. you don't really think too far ahead mm -hmm. it's more let's have a meeting let's have a discussion how about if we do this and before you know it you're already down the line mm -hmm. of you know have created this business mm -hmm. which is you know completely viable and you know, there's no reason not to anymore yeah, you just yeah. go for it because you have to eventually at the end just say let's go for it you know Ab absolutely so what skills were you bringing with you from your past lives what what were the um what what were the uh, the expertise that you had that you brought into this i think for me personally i'd um managed an online health food store previous to, to starting this so I knew how to work with you know suppliers and you know all that kind of and managing a team and um yeah just the connections as well that I had through doing that was it was a was a bonus um yeah and you know just working with websites and e-commerce and things like that as well so it was a it was a varied amount of of knowledge I think I brought in yeah yeah I think from my side, um, I worked in finance um, for many years and so, and business finance. So I knew it was, you know, how to start, you know, and then see how it would then continue. Um, but I think more personally, I was raising a small family at the time and we were producing a lot of waste and I was seeing what was coming in and out of the house and what kind of products we were using that I didn't feel were very, you know, child friendly or, you know, full of chemicals, you know, and I started to really research and found that there, there wasn't anywhere in Edinburgh. So I think it was a mixture of both, you know, that business side, that kind of on, entrepreneurial side, let's, but also from a personal or family orientated. Um, I knew there must have been other families in Edinburgh that wanted to do the same. Mm -hmm. and, and what would you say has been the biggest challenge or learning curve you've had when you when you've started the business uh, um, I think actually like knowing what customers want um is a huge huge thing you 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 like to think you know because we'll get what we like to especially at the beginning we're like everyone will buy this you know um and then find that you don't sell as much as you think you're going to so that in itself and fine tuning your stock is just like one aspect of, you know, the difficulties with business. You also move from being the customer 
to being the business owner so you you don't really have that inside knowledge anymore that you yeah. had when we first started mm-hmm. because we're looking at it from a different angle you know mm-hmm. as as a business you know trying to increase sales mm-hmm. trying to do marketing and mm-hmm. advertising we're not really seeing it you know as you know what we're actually looking for what yeah. product so that that you're right yeah. the products research is really important and yeah. know what customers want and mm-hmm. um, I would also say that um accepting change yeah. <laughs> and accepting that things will not always go your way yeah. so you can have a business plan and you can have a five-year business plan if you want. However, when things like the pandemic um, come along or Brexit, you know, you have to really be able to change very quickly um, your business model to adapt. Yeah, and I mean, that's you, you will have been, what, about a year into your journey when... Not even. Two months. Two months. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we wow. Were... <laughs> so 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 all this talk of pivoting and uh, change you're you're right in in at the start so how how did you do that you you'd got you'd set up the store you've 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 got your model in your mind and then the whole way in which the world gets its supplies and shop has changed overnight how how did you manage that we were uh, we'd always planned to kind of go online um, at some point in the near future, but we just adapted really quickly and had to to put that to the forefront because you know people weren't really allowed in shops at that point. Mm-hmm. Um, so we created a system whereby people could order online in a really simple format and then come and collect or have the goods delivered. Um, and we just advertised that in the local area, which was great, and we had such a great response from that. Mm-hmm. And fortunately, because our suppliers that we use are as local as possible we didn't really have a big issue with getting the supply of the goods and we had a really close connection with all the people that we were working with so yeah it was we were quite fortunate in that way weren't we that we were still selling food people still needed to eat and they were finding it really difficult to source from supermarkets at the time as well so we kind of just jumped in (laughs) i would also say that we had to um upskill very quickly so Jamila had to learn to code very quickly <laughs> in, in order for us to be able to reach a wider audience. Yeah. Um, so again, that's another thing that you have to be yeah. able to do is to be able to upskill yourself mm-hmm. and, and wear many hats at the same time. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's, it's often said that you can't out-earn your learning. Um, exactly. The, the game of business is all about, all about learning. So, so, so what are the... Th- how did you go about doing that learning? Where did you learn from? Sorry, did you ask that again? Where Where did you learn from? Where What were the sources of of gaining the knowledge? You've 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 decided. You know, you You've got to You've got to learn to code. You've got to learn about the way customers. If I'm, if I'm honest, I think to begin with, it was our customers. Mm-hmm. So they what they said was they they still wanted us to be around, you know, they still needed us. And so we asked them, you know, what would be helpful for you? You know, what what would you want us to be able to provide for you? How would you like us to be able to do that? Mm -hmm. And and once we had all that, you know, information, Mm -hmm. we were then able to say, right, okay, well, in order for us to do that, we need to create things. And to, in order to create things, we have to really let who's going to pick what job and how are we going to learn to do that. So mm-hmm. I think in terms of coding, yeah. you know, there yeah. are so many um, resources out there yeah. in terms of free courses, mm-hmm. even mm-hmm. before you start having to pay anything, you know, mm-hmm. and, and, and looking at different websites and what yeah. they offer mm-hmm. and comparing. And, it, you know, it all takes time. Mm-hmm. And however, yes. once you start piecing things together and they mm-hmm. fall into place, mm-hmm. Again, I would say it's from our customers that let us know, mm-hmm. you know, how they would like how they would like to shop and what mm-hmm. makes it easier for them. And also, I must say as well, we have um, there's a lot of um, Facebook groups for mm-hmm. like zero waste shop owners, mm-hmm. which is a great source of knowledge. You know, got any questions, you can just jump right on there, and people are more than happy to kind of help you out. So um helpful. so because everyone's normally gone through the exact same thing so yeah yeah, yeah it's, uh, it, it's it's brilliant to be able to build build a community around you that 
that's there to help. So do yeah. you mention that one of the things that you went into this, Natasha, was you were bringing up a young family and starting a business, particularly a, mm -hmm. a retail business, is is fairly full on. Mm -hmm. How 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 have you, have both of you managed the competing demands on your time of running your own business and looking after your families? Still learning. <laughs> <laughs> so um I think it depends on the person and who you are. I'm very used to being busy and juggling things. You know, mm -hmm. I when I had a really young family, I was still studying at the same time and working part time. You know, I you know you have to be able to manage your your time really well. Mm -hmm. So I think when we first started, and, and luckily enough, there are two of us, mm -hmm. so we are able to share out those jobs. You know, and and be able to understand that sometimes I have to spend more time with my family, and sometimes you know Jamila can take on a little bit more work. So it it does. Is it all about balance? Yeah, I think. yeah, yeah. And, and sometimes we get it wrong, you know, mm -hmm. like like any other person. Mm -hmm. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's you go too far one way, you know, and before I know, it, I've spent you know days and days working and not really spent any time, yeah. quality time with family, you know. But yeah. it's 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 a constant juggle. You yeah. never really. Um, I don't. I don't think anybody has the <laughs> you know the answer. The answer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you're right. Yeah, no, it's you. You're absolutely right. It's uh, it's it's one of the reasons why it's such an interesting uh, thing to talk about because we're all all learning off each other the whole time. Mm -hmm. so if if you were if you were starting all over again, what what would be the one piece of advice you would give your yourself to do differently? Big, maybe the biggest thing that you've learned in the process so far? Ooh, that's a tough one. <clears throat> what would I? I think maybe just to be a bit easier on ourselves, like out with the kind of business side of things. Um, just personally, I think we we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to get it right first time um and that's just not the way that the world works and how you know business works and as we we're talking about how things change a lot quite quickly and um, I think that you can put a lot of pressure on yourself which takes away from just enjoying the experience um and all the years that we've kind of gone through you know it's amazing to look back on and say remember this time remember that time at the time you're so very aware of you know the pressure that you're that you're under and it's only personal pressure or mm -hmm. you know it's not really external pressure so just enjoying every moment I think and reducing the pressure on yourself yeah enjoy yeah, I think you're right enjoying the moment and and having um having patience mm -hmm. um I think sometimes we want you can be I mean certainly myself I think we, we can be quite creative mm -hmm. and when I vision something and vision I want it I want to see it now you know mm -hmm. I want it to mm -hmm. appear mm -hmm. you know and we put lots of energy and work into it mm -hmm. and sometimes these things just like I've mentioned before take time and mm -hmm. so just to have have a little patience mm -hmm. trust in trust in yourself trust in your instincts I think mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. because usually those are you know believe believe in yourself that you can actually do it yeah. I, I think that's the hardest part of, bus mm -hmm. of a business self-doubt it's self-doubt <laughs> yeah you feel that am I doing it wrong you know did we make the wrong decisions um and you'll never really know however you know have patience have belief in yourself mm -hmm. and just keep keep going mm -hmm. really yeah yeah no, that's that's a that's a great philosophy so so where next where where are you going? Where where where's where's the good store going to be in five, ten years time? Ten years time. Ten years time. Where is it going long to be? Time. I mean, we've always wanted to have more than one store. That's always kind of been in our mind's eye. Um whether it be just in Edinburgh or further afield, you know, that would be great mm -hmm. as well. I think with what's happened with the pandemic and Brexit and the cost of living crisis, it has changed our trajectory in regards to our timeline um, but it doesn't mean that that's still not going to be an, an option for us um, going forward so we're still always striving to have 
you know, hit a different area of Edinburgh that doesn't have, you know, a, a shop like this that they can, mm-hmm. you know, just pop into, you know, it's all about accessibility with our with the way that people can shop with us so that's always been something that we've wanted is, yeah is gro- growth, growth is definitely mm-hmm. um if, if your business isn't growing then it's not it's not really a business you know mm-hmm. you want to be able to supply in, you know more customers mm-hmm. that's that's the whole point and we believe that a sustainable business like ourselves people want to shop more sustainably mm-hmm. it just has to be convenient mm-hmm. and so in order to do that we have to then you know drop stores Mm -hmm. in in different areas Mm -hmm. um, and then it becomes convenient so growth is definitely on the cards in 10 years exactly I have Mm no idea (laughs) but um, I hope we're still here I hope there's more stores and I hope we're helping people to be that little bit more sustainable with their shopping Mm -hmm. fantastic well you know with with a philosophy like that you know that you're clearly both really committed to learning business business is is a game of learning um it's it's all about having the dream creating the goal learning what you need to learn so you can create the plans and take action and i'd be pretty confident that uh, you'll you'll have have those additional stores in the future so look ladies thank you very much for joining me this afternoon thank you for Uh, having us it's been fascinating and um Yeah, very best of luck with the rest of your journey. Thank Thank you very much, Rupert. Bye-bye now. Bye.